why I'm not Orthodox Christian. Now, everyone on this channel with the new subscribers know, obviously, and I've seen my Orthodox Christianity video. It's on its way to 10,000 views. And it has stirred a reaction in many people, many people who are Orthodox, many people who aren't, but are interested in it. And they appreciate my thoughts, my beliefs about this certain branch of Christianity, which is Orthodoxy. In my opinion, of course, in which I said in the video is that I talked about, obviously about my experience, how I grew up as a Pentecostal Christian, grew up in a Christian private school. And of course, I'm being born in a Western country. So Protestantism is, you know, really the default branch of Christianity. And yet when we see things on, uh, you know, when, when we see influences from different things and the state of this world in which it is, the state of, de of uh, degeneracy and different things that we see. I truly do believe in a lot of Protestant churches, they lack the fear of God. Um, I'm not here to be judgmental, but my point in the Orthodox video was to say that there seems to be a certain sincerity and seriousness that Orthodox folk carry. Um, so my ultimate point is, guys, just to get into the video, why I'm ultimately not Orthodox is because there are doctrines and different beliefs that I can simply cannot subscribe to. Now, I again, this is a, a completely open discussion. I want to be educated. I'm a, I'm a completely open book. Um, I've got one of Father Spurden's videos, The Ancient Path, um, talks about you know authentic Christianity. Um, and yeah, is it you know, a call to discover that vision of God first shared with the apostles? In the last chapter, he's talking about how the church really started, well, of course, with the apostles. And, you know, that is sort of when the Orthodox church began i believe that they obviously started with traditions and that's sort of what gives orthodoxy credit because it hasn't changed of course many people will say different things but ultimately guys let's just get straight into it so ultimately my first point is about saint intercession in prayers now scripture says i believe um that jesus christ is the one mediator between god and man and i believe in praying to jesus and of course you know the the three persons of the holy trinity i sort of I, i'm using um, when I pray and stuff, I obviously uh, use like the Orthodox um, way of making like a cross. So in the Father and, the, and in the Son and the Holy Spirit, then I'll say my prayer and stuff. I just I just like to do that. I know it's not necessary or needed, but I do it. But the idea of asking saints to pray for me, even though they're physically dead, is quite an alarming thing in my mind. I bumped into um, an old friend of mine, actually. Um, uh, well, just in in my local town, a couple of a couple of weeks ago, and I mentioned this to him because he goes to the Russian Orthodox Church um, uh, near, near me, and um, of course it isn't near me, but in a in a city near me. So uh, we talked about this, and he said, "Well, if they ultimately yes, they are dead, but those who are, um, uh, you know, uh, those saints are alive in Christ." And of course, you know, we, we obviously agree with that, but they're simply human beings. They didn't have, they didn't carry any, um, well, of course, you know, they're saints. They obviously lived, you know, tremendous lives of, you know, um, sacrifice and hardship and things like that. And I, I definitely believe that we should review them and, and res deeply respect them. This is, this is definitely what Protestantism obviously lacks because it is almost like um, uh, a chunk of history in which we've just completely let out. And I think, I think it's wrong. Um, it sort of reminds me of like Catholicism where they will uh, quite literally, well, if, correct me if I'm wrong, I mean, ask Mary uh, to pray for us, you know, with, you know, to Jesus, even though um, in the Bible, you know, I, I believe scripture says that we can simply, you know, go to the Father just straight away and, and you know, ask him, you know, um, to, well, you know, answer our prayers and, and to be there to, you know, actually pray to God um, in itself. So that's really quite an alarming thing in my mind. And also, another doctrine that I've heard and obviously come across, of, but you know, Father Spurden, I watch Father Spurden's videos every day, and yet there is something else I disagree with, and that is the, the belief that Orthodoxy believe that they are the one true church. Now, I sort of relate to what the Protestants say, in which um, we all will disagree on different, on like sort of smaller um doctrinal differences but ultimately we are still the one body of christ um and yet orthodoxy believes that they are truly the one true church and uh, no one else can can obviously refute that 
Um, ultimately, I think maybe their argument is to say that, well, if this church, you know, this church is the most, you know, it is the true church. I mean, it was started, you know, by the apostles. And obviously that, that of course, gives it credit. But to sort of say that, you know, sincere Roman Catholic Christians who I believe, you know, you know uh, uh, Roman Catholic Christians are saved. I, I, I do believe a lot of them are. Obviously, there's some who are not. I'm not very educated on it, even though a lot of my family before becoming Christian were Catholic. Um, uh, even Protestants, sincere Protestants who believe in the core fundamental doctrines of Christianity. Are they wrong as well? You know, are they, you know, are, are they just being completely misled just because they're not part of um, you know, uh, an, an established Orthodox Church. I just find that quite insincere and almost, well, almost, you know, a little bit of a slap, slap in the face to people who genuinely love God, love Jesus Christ, and um, want, want, you know, want to share His Word and want to live out their faith. Um, but of course, you know, I, I, I'm here to learn, guys. I, I want to be educated, as I said in my other video, and I really hope, guys, that this video can obviously uh, reaches out to more people. So I pray that. Uh, God puts this video out to more people as well because the Orthodox uh, video that I, I did create a month ago uh, is, is, is doing fantastic. So obviously I thank God for that. But also guys, I thank you all for, for seeing it. I thank uh, the YouTube algorithm for pushing it out, you know, quite randomly. I wasn't expecting it to blow up uh, in the way it did. But I want to be educated, just like I said in my last video. I want to be enlightened. I want to have a conversation. I'm a completely open book. I just want to learn, I just want to learn stuff. Um, and I, I, I believe I'll say in the title why I'm not Orthodox Christian as of yet. So I'm still, I, I'm open, you know, I, 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 am, I am open. And it's funny that I say I'm not Orthodox. I listen to Orthodox chants every day. I'm reading, you know, Father Spurden's book. I'm just trying to learn more things, you know. I'm, I'm watching Orthodox videos, watching Father Spurden's videos. So, guys, um, please pray for me <laughs> on my journey. And, guys, please put your comments down below. Um, and let's have a conversation. So, God bless. And uh, see you guys in the, in the next one.